Hello folks and welcome to another Richard Head Longbows video. You've just been looking at some images of some new stock that we've just got in, which this week is some quivers. Um, let's have a closer look mm. at what we've got in. We thought we'd show you, show you what we've had in this week. What have we got, Dad? Right. This first one's a nice green leather. Uh, they're all made by a local uh, leather worker uh, who selects very good quality leather, uh, hand stitched, very, very good quality, will last you your lifetime. In fact, we've sold some second hand ones of these over the years and the leather takes on a really nice uh, aged look. Um, they are basically right handed. They've got a stitch pattern down the front, but you could use it left handed. You just have a, a plain side, which some people might prefer. So. You could wear these right. either way around if you wished. So as far as handed is concerned with this type of quiver, then because that's just hanging from the belt, yeah. it doesn't actually matter which, no. which side you, you hang it. No, the chap who makes them likes this crisscross stitching to show, but no reason why you shouldn't wear it the other way around. Right, I see. As far as size is concerned, and this applies to all of the quivers, the overall length just over 19 inches which is about 49 centimeters the opening four inches 10 centimeters and the width a couple of inches about 50 sorry 50 millimeters five centimeters and it will hold a dozen arrows in fact all the quivers we're going to show you hold a dozen arrows uh, so that's the first one quite a nice green traditional and that's actually got archery a, green. A, got a space. Oh, it's got there, a spacer it? in it. Yeah. So if you're um, perhaps you're field shooting, you can have the three arrows that you're going to use in there, and your spares in there. Right. So you know the, you're picking out the same three arrows every time. Right. So you've got shoot. a separate compartment, basically. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. What other ones have we got? Uh, we've got a very similar one, same size, uh, but in red leather. Again, it's still got this crisscross stitching down the front, uh, the opening still with the separator, um, the loop for your belt. Exactly the same as the other one, except in a red, a nice red leather. That's the same size, isn't it? Everything? Same size, yeah. Right. Yeah. What have we got next? Uh, this one has got a, a hair surface to it. So it's got uh, leather inside and then it's covered with this, which is actually a uh, uh, springbok uh, skin. And that's actually stitched down the edge. Ah. So, and he's stamped a little uh, springbok or something of deer on the side. So that one could be worn either way round and it looks identical. Mm. That's nice, it feels nice. Yeah, nice and uh, mm. smooth. So same size as the others, still got the separator. Uh, exactly the same. And that's the next one. That one, very slightly smaller. I think the length is the, about the same. Just, no, it's about an inch, about 18 and a half, that's 47 centimetres. The opening, much the same as the other ones. Tapers down a little bit slimmer. So it's a, it's a nice quiver if you wanted something a little bit lighter on your belt. Or if you're a lady, wanted something slightly slimmer, this one it is. Um, the leather has got this sort of nice um, mottled effect to it. Yeah, which it's is, a sort of textured uh, yeah, feel to it. Almost a sort of a... Not quite snakes, alligator, snake but uh, it's that of sort of feel. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, unusual, yeah, it's but different, nice. Different to the yeah. other ones. Yeah. And is that the last uh, one? No, the other one we've got has got um, some quite elaborate carving. Uh, now this one, he's obviously put the carving on the so the opposite side to the stitching, uh, and this is one that um, same size as the others, hold a dozen arrows, but instead of hanging from your belt, uh, goes over the over your shoulder. And I think we've we've shown these before. So goes over your head. The, you take take the weight on your shoulders, so it's not pulling your belt down. So it hangs at the side. Arrows go in, probably can't see that too well, but it, it will hang from your side. Instead of hanging from the side, pulling your trousers down, the weight's taken over your shoulders. Um, a good design if you want something like, 
like that. Mm, it's quite um, clever. And the fact it's got this really nice pattern on it that is obviously taken some time to to produce. Yeah, it is. It's um, uh, pretty spectacular to say the yeah, least. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice uh, mm. nice bit of work. So again, a nice a nice quiver, slightly different design. Well, that's all of them. Uh, we just thought we'd take the opportunity to show off what we'd managed to get hold of this week. Um, these sorts of quivers, they are changing constantly because obviously as people buy them, we get another one in and the chap who makes them, well, as you can see, they're never really the same. No. <laughs> the general pattern is tends to be the same, like Richard was saying, the length, the sort of general sizes. Um, but the look, um, these castellation sort of extra bits that you've got at the tops of them, um, the little bead work, um, patterning, stitching tends to vary. So each one's different and unique. So we thought we'd, mm. as I say, take the opportunity to show you what we've actually got in stock at the moment. So if this, this video is being watched in 10 years time on YouTube, these exact ones <laughs> probably aren't here, but they are as of filming this video in uh, where are we, August of 2020. So the website is below if you want to purchase these or have a closer look at the photos of them that are on there and obviously see the prices etc and the other quivers that we have because as I say this isn't all of them and they do change constantly. Well hopefully that's given you a closer look at what we've got in stock this week. Stay tuned for more videos if you want to keep up, keep up to date with what we're doing in the workshop and what stock we've got in. Do subscribe and we'll see you again soon. Cheers. <laughs>